God of plan. As we look around and see the world, we understand that God has created things perfectly. He has put things in place in such a beautiful way. He is a God of plan and a God of design. God has a plan for every single one of us. Now here's a, a, a scripture from Philippians chapter 3 and verse 12, uh, where it says, not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. God has a purpose in mind. God has a plan in mind. And God has a dream and a vision for each one of us. It's only when we understand it, when we discover that, that purpose of God for us uh, and we lay hold uh, uh, on the promises and the vision for our lives that we will be able to live the kind of fulfilling life that God wants us to live. God wants every human being to know Him. Uh, that's His general plan for everybody. God does not want anyone to perish without Jesus. God wants every person whom He, he has created to walk with Him. That was God's original intention when He put Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, that man would always commune uh, with Him and that man will have uh, an everyday walk with God. So God wants us to walk with Him. God wants us to love Him uh, and serve Him. And this is the general plan that God has for uh, each one of us. Uh, but you see, God also has a specific plan for each and every one of our lives. We are all created different um, and we, we all have different interests. We have different exposure, experience. Um, we, we have uh, a stirring in our hearts which is different from another person's. And so God has wired us differently because He has a special purpose for uh, every single one of us. Now the thing for us to uh, grasp is the vision of God for our lives. Now, if we look at the lives of people like Abraham uh, and David, God had a, a particular assignment for them. God had a life vision for them, the way he wanted to live out their lives. So when we read about David in the book of Acts, we read that he fulfilled his purpose for his generation. So God wants every human being, every person to fulfill uh, their mission in their generation. Uh, we need to discover the purpose of God for us. Now, God has life assignments uh, and God uh, also has, you know, assignments, smaller assignments for us that come and go like the life of Nehemiah. When Nehemiah at one point in his life, God had put in his heart to do something for his people and he went and together with the people of uh, Israel, like he built the walls uh, of Jerusalem. So God has a life vision. And then again, God has these assignments uh, that he wants us to fulfill. And as God's people, we've got to get a vision for our lives. The vision that we, we catch for our lives is the bridge between today and the future. So uh, what I want to encourage us is that we've got to discover the plan of God for us. We've got to get a vision for our lives and we've got to walk in the direction of achieving that vision. And the first step towards walking in the purpose of God for us is to ask Him for it. So shall we just do that? Shall we pray uh, and, and ask God to give us a vision for each and every one of our lives? Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are a God of plan, you are a God of purpose and a God of design. And God, today we, we pray that Lord, you by your spirit, oh God, Lord, that you will direct us. And God, I pray that each and every one of us, God, will experience the joy of walking in, in our purpose. And God, thank you that even as we do this, oh God, that we can excel and Father, we can reign and have dominion. We, we glorify you, we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.